Hi Reefers and welcome back to MQ Reef. It's been a while that uh, we talked and made a video about this beautiful mixed tree, 140 gallons and uh, around uh, 2.8 years, uh, going to be 3 years in August. Now coming over to the tank, uh, the tank was undergoing some uh, issues which uh, I have explained earlier that I had a tin toxicity and also my new method of uh, testing, experimenting with the traces and the minors didn't go well at all, despite half the doses. So uh, my tank was used to only water changes, nothing else, having feedi uh, feeding heavily and exporting heavy. Uh, however, because of uh, toxicities, the SPS, they tend to bleach at places on the two to three SPS, so the rest remain fine. And, uh, but the torch uh, had a blue uh, brown jelly disease, so I had to look after that. Now what I did that first of all, I tried to uh, regain the parameters, water parameters as per uh, natural sea water, so that when I treat my corals, I don't have many variables to deal with. Then I ensuring, after ensuring that I have done 100% water change, then I ensured that uh, I keep the parameters stable as much as possible. So it took me around two months to complete this and then finally most of the SPS had already recovered but uh, my torch was in brown jelly disease. Now how I did go about that I will make another video but uh, I think I must inform that it was heavy antibiotic doses that I had to give it because it was either uh, will stay alive or it may die. So I. Um, decided for uh, repeated baths and finally the torch is in front of you fluffing in the center i'll show you cl uh, more closely now my nitrates uh, remain at five um, i'm off and on dosing vinegar around five to ten ml and then phosphates um, they went higher just once because of the dying cheeto underneath because it grew so much and I being lazy just couldn't cut it in time so as a result uh, my phosphates went to 0.25 but then I just reduced them in the next three days to 0 0.05 again um, despite feeding, feeding heavily um, all the nutrients in tank remain in control unless I'll show you what else is coming up uh, the bus 2 is doing fine elegance um, has grown really well and uh, it is just uh, not even midday it's 1 pm and the um, peak time has just started the rock mushroom is just uh, overtaken by rocks you can see few green hair algae spots there the logo is doing fine my echinata is also encrusting in the micro yes uh, it has recovered finally after months of being stressed and i was unable to know what it is but finally it is back um, Zoa Garden is doing fine, mushroom loving this tank and uh, gloves all you can see the sticking going on with aura candy cane is doing fine, leather is just uh, doing well uh, despite the gyre above the uh, digitata is doing fine the stylo which is behind is now fully recovered and also you can see the ground tips the SPS, Miyagi Tart uh, my 10 years is encrusting well now and the bird nest and uh, chalice doing fine um, all encrusting doing fine this is my torch that has gone through an ICU for continuous 10 days I gave it continuous baths of antibiotics and um, it has finally recovered from at least 10% to 70% and it is in recovery mode. The fluorescent candy can is doing fine, uh, Goni is doing well, encrusting, and Acropora keeps breaking, it was coming towards this side and it just broke because of my own hand. The baby torch is also growing well, you can see unaffected by brown jelly disease and not affecting other corals. So I'm just waiting let it grow. Monte is again growing well. Uh, Milka is, uh, is just on a growing streak. You can see the flow of my tank 
this is the flow that I loved and my corals love it as well. And uh, as usual, uh, you have seen that uh, my um, wave box is doing its wonders, giving an extra push to the added gyres that I have. I have also raised the light to uh, back to 90% and I think uh, uh, it has also helped the SPS better. And um, if you can see, the tank is now fully recovered. Yes, there are strands of GHA, which I am not much bothered about. I have an eye on it. Of course, my high nitrate and phosphates are one of the reasons. But still, if the corals uh, are consuming the alkalinity well, they are going to consume the nitrate phosphate as well. And they are going to be soon out competing the greener algae, which I'll remove by hand sometime. So, uh, if you have any comment or questions, please be free and do post it in the comment box. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, I hope I've covered most of the update. So, till next time, see you. Allah Hafiz.